A snail is a mollusk, which is a type of invertebrate. That means they don't have a backbone. No bones, but shell? Yes, snails do have a shell. They aren't fast creatures, but did you know that snail racing is a sport? Snail race? Yep, snail races take place all over the world but they're most common in the United Kingdom. The race starts by putting the snails in the center, the middle of a circle. Can you see why the snails start in the center of the circle, Nash? All start same, fair. Yes, when you start in the center, it's the same distance for all of the snails to finish. The race starts when someone shouts, ready, steady, Slow! Humans aren't allowed to touch or help snails during the race. The snail that gets to the edge of the circle first wins. Ready, steady, slow! <laughs> now let's test... Unusual sports! Hi, Chester. <laughs> Just practicing some moves. Nice. Basketball used to be an unusual sport, which means you don't see or hear about something often. Like curling. Whoa! Are they sweeping the ice? Yes. The goal is to get the stone closest to the target. But players aren't allowed to touch the stone, so they sweep the ice to make it smooth. That helps the stone glide. And here's a sport called Sepak Takra. Oh, it's like volleyball, but you use your feet instead of your hands. What's this sport? It's bob snorkeling. The swimmers race to see who can swim through the muddy water fastest. All these unusual sports could become common one day. Maybe I should try bog snorkeling. <laughs> Feeding time! Marathons are races over very long distances. Hi, I'm training to run a marathon. Marco, do you know how long marathons are? Hmm, 10 blocks? Longer. 20 blocks? Longer. <gasps> 50 blocks? It's closer to 520 blocks. It's around 26 miles. Whoa! That's a long way! Where did the idea come from to run that far? Marathons come from Greek legend. It's the story of a messenger who ran a long way to deliver news that the Greeks won a big battle at a place called Marathon. Oh, so that's how it got its name and why it's so long. But how can people run that far? They train for months in advance. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to run a marathon yet. So I'm going to cheer on the runners who are. Keep going, you can do it. Now let's... This 
sing. Athletes have to prepare their bodies to be good at sports. Lily, what are you doing? I'm entering a gymnastics competition. Here's my handstand. Oh! Athletes prepare their bodies by practicing. Practicing sounds like a good idea. There are three key ways to practice for a sport. One, build endurance. Endurance? Endurance means the more you practice, the longer you can do something for. So the more handstands I try, the longer I'll stay up? Exactly. Yes! What's next? Two, build muscle memory. Muscle memory? It means your body remembers movements without thinking too much about it. See? You're doing your handstand, but thinking less about it. Three, try out new techniques. Wow, look at his skills. Watch this. I turned my handstand into a flip. Great job. I'll keep practicing because that's how you prepare for a sport. Let's. I love swimming. Ooh, it looks like they're about to race. That's because you're watching the start of a triathlon, Marco. Go swimmers! Hey, why are they getting out of the water? After the swim, the racers have to cycle. Ooh, soggy cycling. A triathlon is a race where athletes compete in three different sports in one race. Whoa, three? Oh, I get it. Tri means three, like in triangle. So, you have to swim and cycle. What's the third sport in a triathlon? Running. The winner is the person who can finish all three races the fastest. You know, with practice, I think I could do a triathlon. The triathlon is an endurance sport. Endurance means you have to train hard and keep going for a really long time. That's one tough race. Feeding time.